Australasia's capital of technology and production, Massey University, opening up a fab lab. Not fabulous lab, but a fabrication lab. It's a concept first started up by one of the world's top universities, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Renee Graham explains. Take one television reporter, two university students, a 3D Xbox scanner and a 3D printer, and what do you get? A three-dimensional physical printout, which you can put in your office, a television interview, or on the street. It's basically like a traditional uh, inkjet printer, but rather than printing on one layer on paper, it prints in three dimensions, upwards. Massey University's campus in Wellington will soon be home to this 3D printer and Australasia's first fabrication lab, or Fab Lab. It's a hub for invention first created in the States by the prestigious technology institute MIT. It can now be found in 130 countries around the world. MIT wanted to break down academic boundaries and give ordinary people access to high-tech tools so they can invent or solve problems. Massey's lab will have open days for the public. It's uh, putting the power of making in the hands of, of uh, communities that have not really had it. New Zealand is going to be a host to a worldwide phenomenon of very creative people getting together and just by being together coming up with explosive new ideas and that's why they came up the name Fab Lab. Fabulous results from a kind of laboratory of people getting together with ideas. 3D printing technology has been around for 10 years but some scientists claim it's sparking an industrial revolution. In the future manufacturing it's going to be very heavily based on this idea of printing um, out of product rather than manufacturing product in the clunky way we see it today. They're developing large-scale 3D printers that could print out entire buildings. They've also printed a human cell. One of the things that's been worked on is printing biologically functional materials, so actually being able to um, 3D print a human bodily organ like a, a you know, a, a heart or a lung, something like that. But you too can have access to this technology in your very own home. You print. For about $700, you can order a basic 3D printer online. This model costs about $2,500 and prints with plastic. Once the 3D image has been processed by free computer software, it's programmed into the 3D printer. And about six or so hours later, out pops a mini -me. The more practical applications are seemingly limitless. You could make spare parts for machinery, so say there's something like your coffee machine's broken or your grinder. The Fab Lab opens its doors next month, just ahead of a conference that'll host the world's most inventive 3D printing minds. That is very, very cool. You could have so much fun with that. It is awesome. Yes, thanks very much for that, Renee. And that is it from us. We'll now go to Peter for the news. Bye-bye. This morning's news headlines, one person has been killed and three others have been injured after a U.S. Navy boat fired at a fishing vessel in the Persian 